In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can import quick explosions using OpenVBD. We start by going to the website jangafx.com. Embark real time visual effect tools. This website can be used to create real time volumetric fluid simulations for games and films. So when you open their website, you go to downloads, download free VBD assets. And here we we'll scroll down a bit. There are some explosions and I can see some smoke fire that you can download. This is even a cloud pack. But for what we want to use today, we need we can use this gasoline explosion. So when you find the kind of volumetric effect that you're looking for, you simply just press this button download and download the exact volumetric that you are looking for. So by pressing shift A, we scroll down to volume and import open VBD. So you go ahead and look for the file you downloaded. You select everything and click on import VBD. Then you scale down the explosion. So as you can see, it's very large. Then let's go ahead and add a material in the shader editor. So when you add the material, you can see that the volume is already linked up to the volume output of the material. So if we go back to the timeline and play back, you can see from where the explosion started. What you can do is the density, you can play with the density. to bring back the fire color you have to change the value for the black body intensity increase the temperature I think I'll reduce the temperature down a bit We'll find something that we like. Increase the black body intensity and it adds more colors to the to the flame. And the density controls how dark the smoke will be. So when you achieve a result that you like can go back and align this explosion to the cannon. But as you can see, the explosion is real time. You go to your timeline and press play, it plays real time. Let the explosion rotate it. So we'll position that there and you can see the explosion. You can add a camera and render it out. And the animation. And the animation for the explosion plays in real time. So if you like what you saw and this is going to help you in your next project, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.